Derek Carr coming over in the offseason. QB 17, 305 completions, 502 attempts, 60.8% completion, 3,522 yards, 24 touchdowns, seven on um, 14 interceptions, 24 rushes, 102 yards. Thoughts on Derek Carr? I feel like these numbers should improve. I, I really do. Like, I think that he's going to be asked to do some different things in New Orleans, but I think it's going to be things that help Derek Carr. Like, first things first, we don't want 14 interceptions, right? Like, we got to find a way to get that down to 11 or less. Like, we just don't want 14 interceptions. Number two. I need a completion percentage that's 63% or higher. Like we got to find a way to get that completion percentage up. Now you do those two things and he goes from tight or quarterback 17 and damn near to quarterback 12, just off, just off of those two things. Yeah. Because with that completion percentage going up, now you're looking at something probably along the lines of 37, 3,800 yards instead of 3,500 yards. Um, you're able to put some more points on the board as a team, um, you know, and you kind of move through that. So I like Derek Carr. I'm okay with Derek Carr as a QB two in super flex leagues. Um, you can be a backup for me um, in, in redraft leagues. That's said and done. I'm going to tell you he's quarterback 14 at the end of the season. Yeah. I like, I like him to improve just based on the fact that he's got m- more, uh, more weapons around him, right? And 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 even if he only gets a half season of Alvin Kamara, if they use him in the passing game like they should, um, those are those are free. That's free passing yards there, right? Like that's those are free points. It's it just like when you look at what the Raiders were last year, you know, with Derek Carr, they were very uh, top heavy. Is not the word I want to use, but like it, it was very tunneled into one person really carrying the load in each position group, right? Like Josh Jacobs really carried the load running the football. Likewise, receiving the football, it was predominantly Devontae Adams, right? Like Matt Collins and Foster Moreau and and Josh Jacobs all combined didn't even get to what one of Devontae Adams did in terms of yardage. Yeah, like I I like to think that that he would have no reason to not be in that QB1 conversation. I I like Derek Carr to be kind of that QB13-14 when the season's all said and done. Uh, Yeah, this is – he just came off of what could arguably be his – your second worst season that he's had as a professional, uh, you know, outside of his rookie year, right? Like – with That's, a lot of exterior for external forces too. Right, with right? the coaching change having taken place, a new yep. wide receiver set. Uh, you know his two his two main pass catchers the previous two years weren't uh, weren't healthy all season. Like, yes, there was a lot of noise, a lot of a lot of stuff in the system there. Um, yeah, and and quite frankly, I think the Raiders kind of did him dirty when it was all said and done there. But there's no reason that I can't see him getting back up to the 66, 67, 68% completion percentage. We've seen him just deliver year in, year out over the last few. I, no reason that I don't that I don't see any reason we can't see him over 4,000 yards and get, again, middle middle of the 20s when it comes to touchdown passing. Uh, yeah, probably low double digits on interceptions, right? So uh, call it a stat line somewhere around I think 67% completion percentage, 4,100 yards, 25 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. I think that's kind of where we see him uh, doing. I think that's going to be enough to put him right there. QB 13, 14, when it's all said and done. So uh, yes, Derek Carr is a guy that a lot of people are going to overlook and guys are going to sleep on come this draft season, especially in super flex, put him on your roster, move on. And I think he'll do some really, really good things for you.